Hi everyone, we are in Tinkercad today and I want to show you the new tool that we have here and it's called Sketch. Uh, I want to create some shapes for you and see how easy it is now to create shapes that have um, curves like the examples that we see here like this one. I created using the sketch tool, also the house, also this one. So the house has more geometric shapes, but the two animals, this one and this one, I created using uh, the this tool. Okay, let's see how it works. But first, if you uh, don't know where to find this website, go to tinkercad.com and create an account and you will be able to use it. And then you have to go to create and create a 3D design and you will get this page. So I want to show you this new tool. We need to click, like drag it um, to our grid and it will show us a page like this. I want to show you how you can um, make that animal. So. First, uh, you can start from a very basic shape, like click, click. I'm gonna just draw the shape of the body of the animal. And let's say we have something like this, right? This is gonna be the head and the neck. So don't use too many dots because the less dots we have, it it will make our job, uh, our work more like easier. So uh, now I created this shape. It's kind of the body, neck, and the head. And then the next thing is that we want to click this one, add or remove points. And then we want to drag weight with this one. We want to drag a selection around every dot, like all of them got selected. And then if we go here and you know, change it to smooth, we will have a kind of a similar shape to an animal, but it doesn't have legs. Let's see how we can add legs. And also we have some extra, extra um, points that we can remove. So if you click this and then click on the point, it will get removed. So I don't want to remove too many. If you have some extra things that are kind of, um, you think that um, give the shape a little bit weird uh, curves, you can click and then it will just delete it for you. Now the fun part, we want to add legs and we don't have enough dots to add the legs. If we click on the outline, let me scroll, like scroll to zoom in. If you click on the outline three times, you can grab the point that is in the uh, center and then it will be a leg. Look at this, one leg. Let me zoom out. So this is one leg you can, make it as long as you want. And then I want another leg. Let's add points one more time. So remember we need three points. One, so we need to click with this one. One, two, three, and put the points next to each other because we want kind of these two, we want to pin the outline there and then the center one we will drag it down like let's drag this one down and this dot has handles you can just drag the handles and it will change the shape of the curve okay well, let's add three more and then grab it with this and then you can drag the handles. Let's do one more. 
I have an uh, extra dot here, so I will just add two more and then drag the one in the center. So have fun with this and uh, kind of experiment and see what shapes you can make. And also you can move the dots, move them, and also use the handles to reshape Maybe this one needs a tail here. So let's add more dots. One, two, three. We need three. So two of them just keeps the uh, keeps the outline there. And then one that is in the center, we can drag it out. So um, let's say we want to make this tail a little bit to have a curve. So we can go click here and drag. So don't add too many dots um, unless like when you need them, you just add them. It's easier to do later. And um, we have the option to make the dots like this, pointed, corner, or have them round, I'm gonna smooth it and then drag the handles. And one, something else that we have is this one. It breaks the handles. It means like right now it's not broken. Like the two handles move at the same time. But if I select this and then break the handles, I can get shapes like this. I don't want it for here, but yeah, we can't change the curve the way we want. Here you go. Let's go back. And when we are done, we have our shape. We go finish our sketch and we get this animal here. Uh, let's rotate it a little bit. Grab this one and rotate. If you hold shift on your keyboard, it will be perfect 90 degrees. And then drag this one, pick it up. See, it's not on the work plane. We can um, press D on our keyboard. It will sit right on the work plane. Now, let's say I want to add more details to this. I can select did and then go back to edit sketch and under I can edit again. And let's say I want to make it kind of like a dinosaur. Let's add a few more dots and up one, two. So if you have three, we can grab the one that is in the center. So add a few more. So if I click at the same dot, it's gonna delete. Let's say I have some pointed shapes like this. So I added some here. Finish sketch. And now my shape has changed a little bit. Um, I want to add an eye so I can draw the eye using the sketch. Just grab the same tool and put it where you want the eye to be. And then here you can draw the eye. So click, click, click. Like uh, if you uh, draw a square, you can connect, uh, convert it to a circle. Let's see. So I have four points, I can select all of them and make them smooth and it will be a circle. Finish sketch. This eye is sticking out a little bit, just that. So I'm moving it, pushing it inside using the arrow key on my keyboard. So let's say 
the eye is good like you can uh, give it a different color or you can make it a whole if you want to change the color you can always go click the solid and make it a different color or or you can convert it to a hole and it will cut right now it's a hole and then we need to select this object and this one with two so we can drag a selection to select both in a group it is group it did it so now it's kind of a hole let me show you one more thing um if you want to change the color of the background you can go to setting and from here you can change the sky color and for the house i used the sketch i can show you like um yeah wait um, I can show you how I did this. I started with a simple shape. Like this sketch tool is pretty simple. Let's grab it, put it here. Let's make a house now. So we can do something like this. A shape of a house. Done. Finish. We have our house. We can rotate it and then it will be like kind of similar to the other one. Let's say I want to add, um, I want to cut some areas. I can select a bit sketch and then I can add some dots right here or here. So, and then one in the center and I can grab it so these ones better be equal one two three four and then the side is one two three four okay it's good maybe i want uh, this to be a curve so i can select the point and make it a curve let's go see what we have here it is so let's rotate this. Hold shift and it will rotate perfectly. You can bring it up and then with D on your keyboard, it will sit on your plane. If you want to make change the size of the house, you can just do this. Grab this or I mean, when you click this, you can also change the number. Instead of 10, you can have 30. Here you go. So you can cut other shapes like this. Let's say you want to cut on this wall. You can put this sketch tool on the wall and draw something there. Let me go back. This place is a little bit too crowded. I'm gonna select this and hide. Select, hide, select, hide, select, hide. Now let's click this edit sketch and it's cleaner. So Again, we can grab the dots and then draw any shape that we want. I have the shape. I can go back and convert this uh, new shape to a hole. And then if I group both shapes, um, it will cut. But let's push it in a little bit using the arrow key. Now I want to uh, select both. I drag a selection around two and then I group 
So this is how you can cut a shape inside the other one. Let me show you how you can have, let's say, two uh, centered windows. And let's undo. So with this one, you ungroup. Select this one, control D, or you can do this one. It duplicates and then use the, not this one, use the arrow keys on your keyboard to make another one. Uh, let's say I want to uh, kind of center the two windows in the wall. Let's say it's like this. How can I center the two? So usually I do this, I uh, group, I select this one and shift select this one and then group. And now that it's a group, I can select the house and the windows. Like, let me deselect. Click this one and then shift click. Like we want to align the two using this align tool here. So if you align, it will go kind of center of the wall. And then you can select again, select both, and then group. Here we go. To bring everything back, we can turn on, like show all. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And I wanted to show you that um, this other animal, look how it has, kind of the curves are not clean. I created this using the sketch tool, like a scribble tool here. With scribble, we can just scribble and make shapes. I use this one. And then add legs. And also, you can delete. So this one has lots, that's lots of like um, divisions that we don't want. But this new sketch tool is amazing and we have more control over everything. Our control over our shapes. Yes. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it and um, just try, just play with the new tool and see what you can make and enjoy it. <laughs> see you on the next video, bye.